Hmm. Eh? Have you been having a feeling that your husband is cheating on you? Have you been suspecting him? Has your sit sense been telling you, been making everything clear for you to know that your husband is stepping out on you, that your husband is being unfaithful and you have still been in denial? Yes, that is what we're going to be talking about today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in, all right? So let's head straight to the topic. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys 12 signs that will help you know if your husband is being unfaithful, okay? 12 signs that will help you know if your husband is presently cheating on you. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to make it clean and smooth for you guys, all right? Clean and smooth because I think that me, I was born a girl, but in a way, in my past life, I was a man, all right? So I have written down, God has blessed me with the knowledge to know all those things for me to come and bless you guys in return. So just sit down, balance, relax, open your ears, okay? And listen to me because I'm going to help you shine your eyes. Shine your eyes, stop being naive. Shine your eyes. I'm going to save your ministry today. I'm going to save your marriage today. All right? Shine your eyes. I'm going to help you catch him before it's too late. Because it's not every girl out there that your husband will go and be doing things with and he's going to return home to you. So it's better for you to catch him now than to do when it's too late. All right? So let's get straight to the point. You see this book? I dropped down 12 signs okay to our signs and i'm going to go through each and every one of them with you and in details number one sign he will no longer find your jokes funny your goofiness your playful ways he will no longer find it funny he's going to find you annoying and irritating sometimes he'll even tell you that why are you behaving like a two-year-old child why are you being like this don't you know that you're an adult don't you know that you're... and i see saying that thing to you they're going to see him on his phone Texting who you don't know who you're texting. And that thing is going to be hurting you on the inside. Because you know that that person that he's on the phone with is the babe that he's cheating on you with. And you'll be having that feeling of wanting to snatch that phone from his hand to slam it on the floor. Or to start a fight, pick a fight with him. Alright? When he does that, and when you're feeling that way, most times he's already cheating on you. Right? He has not gotten maybe to the physical state, maybe still the emotional stage. But he's definitely cheating on you. Or definitely interested in somebody else out there. Somebody else is catching his attention. Number two, when you require attention, you ask for attention and you ask for his time. Maybe before your husband used to be calling you once in a day or twice in a day to check on you, how his work has, how has your day been and everything. Or maybe when you text him, he doesn't take more than five minutes to answer you and all that stuff. And even if he takes time to answer you, he's going to tell that baby, sorry, sorry, I was busy work and everything. But now, even when he takes time to answer you, he doesn't give you any excuse anymore. He'll just answer you three hours later. I don't even care to give you an explanation why he answer you so late. And when you ask him why did he answer you so late, he's going to be telling you how you complain too much, you knock too much. Then he call you at the end of the day. What is your problem and everything? That everything is about love and love and love and love and love. That is how he's going to react, my dear. When a man acts like that, he is suspicious. He is very suspicious. Do not take that lightly, all right? That guy is already cheating on you, all right? Number three. Sleep pattern changes. Hmm. This one is very serious. Pay attention to the sleep pattern changes. When you get married and moving with your husband, most times they are always the ones, the men are always the ones at the beginning that tell you how we need to be going to bed together. I don't want to go to bed before my wife and all that stuff and all this. You can't know that your husband works at 8 in the morning. Sometimes you two, you are both career people, you both, you both work at 8 in the morning from Monday to Friday. But you find your husband now all of a sudden, he starts... Staying up very late at night to 3 a.m. to 2 a.m. when you know that he has he has to be up at 5.30 or 6.30, depending on the location of his work. But he's still out there. And when you come and ask him that, honey, why are you still awake? Oh, I'm not feeling sleepy. Oh, this and this and this. Oh, I'm working on something and everything. That's why you as a woman. You need to know your husband very well. You need to know how his work, you know, how they how his work goes. You need to know if he brings back work at the we work from home at times and everything to work on them and all that stuff. But if for the past five years your man has never brought home work, or for the past three years and never brought home work and everything, while he's done work, he's done work. He comes home and he's just chill and everything, watching TV and all that stuff. All of a sudden now, he's telling you that he's staying up at, at, at late at night for work or something, or this or that, my dear. He's not staying up late because of anything. He's staying up late because maybe he has an appointment with that girl to do video call. To be doing masturbation in one of your guest bathrooms or something. Or one of your guest rooms. 
sometimes it's just yeah just a yeah like i said video chat or maybe talking to her on the phone or maybe chatting her on whatsapp facebook messaging all that stuff my dear sleep pattern changes one time two times three times we can say okay the one, one, one has been going on for a month six months one year and one is just two weeks ago your husband wasn't like that all of a sudden because everything is always all of a sudden that man is cheating on you let nobody tell you otherwise he is cheating on you number four he wants to create a different username account on your computer monitor at home or your laptop all right your computer monitor is usually the one that is public in the home that visitors can use and all that stuff and usually have those username accounts on it sometimes you can label it visitor when the visitor can he just clicks on it and enter the visitor or something or sometimes the next one you label it family he has not been having issues with that walking through the family one this whole time but he'll go and create a different username account and why you notice that you be like honey why did you have to create a different one oh he gets agitated oh it's because of work and everything i have some things that i open there some pages i don't want you guys to close it i have some this and this my dear it's a lie why, is he, why hasn't he had issues with that for the past five years two years three years all of a sudden he has issues with it my dear it's a lie those other accounts is because he had to transfer he wants to now be doing whatever he has been doing on his phone now on that computer monitor because maybe the computer monitor is larger so he wants to be seeing all those pictures all those new pictures on the hd version his vision has to be hd all those videos that she's been sending him he has to be hd that's why he had to transfer everything to the computer to be watching the night while you are sleeping so when a man does that my dear you need to suspect him if he's suspicious do not take it lightly do not take it lightly all right number five being very nice extra nice all of a sudden and being a uh, very quick to to discharge you to maybe spending the weekend off a long weekend off family or friends or whatever being very very nice let's say for instance you ask your husband honey please can you please help me iron my clothes am i your maid don't you know that i'm the man of this house don't you know that things like that that's how your husband has always been all of a sudden now you get one morning, one long weekend morning and everything when you're supposed to go somewhere to your sister's house for four days or sometimes for a week or whatever. And he tells you how he gets up in the morning. Hey honey, so do you need me to do anything for you? Do you need me to iron this coat for you? Do you need me to, to, to help you pack your bags? And hey, why is this your shoe? I really like that shirt. I want you to wear that shirt. Do you why this why is this your human hair? Why is this this? You see your husband is over participating. That over participation is not a good something. That over kindness is not a good kindness. It's not every kindness that comes from the, the heart. Sometimes it's because he's trying to discharge you. As you're heading for your long weekend, he's heading for his own. And most times we know men, most times men, when they give you long weekend and you want to go and spend it with your family or friends, tell you how. So you want to leave me your husband to go and spend with your friend and everything. You don't even care about me and everything. They are very, very possessive and everything. And very, very demanding you in that period because they don't want you to leave. You know, but all of a sudden now your husband is very quick. I see how much you want, any amount you want, baby, I'll give it. You know, you're my baby. <laughs> he's just trying not to look suspicious. So that as you're heading for your weekend, he's going to be heading for his too. So do not take that lightly. That is very suspicious. Okay? It is very, very suspicious. Number six. He never compliments you again. It doesn't matter if you braid your hair, karashika hairstyle, and braid your hair from here to Jericho. He doesn't notice anything. You always have to be the one to make a comment to force him that he did not even notice my hair and everything. Certain lingerie, maybe he likes certain colors and everything. You go all the way to buy lingerie for him and everything. You come in front of him. You find yourself that you're not enticing him like you're enticing him, but it's not like before and all that stuff. My dear, that man is cheating on you. That man is cheating on you. That's why he is being distracted like that. He's cheating on you. If you own a car and now if you own one car okay you used to own one car as a family and you never had issues with it you used to tell you how oh baby one car is okay for now i'm not ready to have two cars too much money too much expenses and all that stuff one car is enough this and this and this and this and this and this and this my dear all of a sudden now when you want to take times times of the weekend or times during the week that you take the car to go out and everything and you start having issues if you go out too much and everything you do this too much every time you're out sometimes i find myself i want to go i cannot go out it's because maybe your plans are colliding with the other girl's plans maybe the time that she was giving him for them to go and meet up at a hotel or something all that stuff you are the one who's obstructing those plans and he's not he's not happy with it because you're stopping him from going to do whatever he has to do he's going to be speaking grammar for you you're obstructing his plans you are doing this you are doing this my dear 
when that one canal all of a sudden becomes an issue, he's cheating on you. He is cheating on you. And sometimes when the cheating has been going on for six months and everything, depending on how sweet that girl's pussy is, maybe he's already been physical with the girl, he's over enjoying it now. You see now the money that he's saying he never had before. Now all of a sudden you have money to come and buy you a new car. That new car that you've been asking for a long time ago now, you have the money for it. Number eight, those so called colleagues. That he always told you how oh, colleagues are not my friends out of work. After work, everything is over and everything. We're not friends again and everything. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't chill with colleagues. I don't do this and everything. And you used to know that your husband is home every time, six p.m. impromptu after work and all that stuff. Now all of a sudden, those same colleagues will start inviting him to sports bar. My colleague, you know my colleague. This he said we should go to a sports bar and this and this and this and this and this and be coming home late, very very late at night. Of course, he cannot use family members, he cannot use friends because he knows that one day he might come out and the friend is going to be like, No, I wasn't with him that day. We didn't cheat together and you'll find out. So, the best way to go about it is to use colleagues. When your husband has been working for the past five years for a certain company, three years for a certain company, and never chill with his colleagues on weekends or even weekdays, all of a sudden now, colleagues are always making demands. My dear, he's cheating on you. Number nine, unusual bank account withdrawals. <laughs> When someone is cheating on you, they will not go and be tapping their bank card everywhere. Are they stupid? Are they mad? They will not do that. So he's going to withdraw money, 1400 and everything. Because that one withdrawal, he's going to go and buy everything that she's demanding, and you will not know what he bought for her. Then he goes and tap La Senza, Victoria's Secret, Sephora. Yeah, yeah, this hotel, Novotel. You're going to ask him that, were you having a prayer warrior or something at Novotel Hotel, or was it an office meeting that you're having at Novotel? What were you doing at Novotel? Oh, you do not say for Who did you buy? So everything is going to be cash. You draw the cash and go and use. And when you ask and be like, why, honey, why did this? Why, why did why did we withdraw money? You never used to do this before. They say, ah, my mother called me, and my cousin called me. This one called me. And you're going to be like, ah, ah. even if they called you for money, isn't there interest? Interesting. Isn't there what's in your that you can do? What's in your what? Who's using what's in your everything? Why don't you use what's in your everything? You show his account say what's in your transaction. But everything is going to be cash. Withdraw your one, withdraw your and continuous use it, okay? Undercover. That one is definitely cheating on you. Definitely, definitely. Okay? Another one is low sex drive and high sex drive. High sex drive. It can be both ways, okay? It doesn't matter. Both ways. It can happen both ways. Sometimes, the other one out there might be too powerful and everything. Sometimes you might catch him on days. Maybe you have sex. Definitely, you will take shower there, okay? You will take shower there and come home and everything. And when he comes home, maybe you catch him up, guy. Maybe you to your honey. When he comes and say, baby, I, I, I want to have sex with you. You start kissing him and everything. Oh, leave me now and everything. Or even if he does, two minutes, you start snoring like a dog, like a, like a dog. It's like, oh, 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 oh. you be like, what the hell? Why is this man snoring like this? He never snores like this. Because, my dear, somebody out there, he has been overworking. The worker has been too much. He has been overworking at night. He has been overworking. He has, he has been too busy out there. Some of them even they don't even need to go to hotel. Some of them even they will be doing it in the car. After all, he go and pick up the girl, they go and pack it, unpack it, he's going to come and be fucking her day. That's why he's tired when he gets home. Okay? And the other way is high sex drive. High sex drive. Don't be too happy when a man, if you notice that your husband for the past five years has not, for the past five years has not been too sexually something. All of a sudden now, ah, the man is hot, the blood, the man's blood is very hot. You come home, baby, flip like this, new sex positions. Open your legs like this, this, this position, turn around, do this, do this, I like when you do this thing for me, my dear. You're not the one who is making him hot. You're not the one who is uh, making him that hyper. No, it's the other girl. All those videos that he has been watching. All those, uh, baby, I love you. I miss you. Baby, I need you. She has, she, she's the one that has been making him hot. But at the moment, probably he needs to meet her on the weekend. And you guys are still on Wednesday. So he needs to come and quench the fire. So it's going to be you. Unfortunately, it's going to be you because you're the wife. who uses to quench the fire. And you'll be thinking, say, oh no, my husband's stamina is back and everything. My dear, it's a lie. It's not every arouser that is, you know what I mean. You're not a child. If you're married, you're not a child, all right? You know what I mean. So, that one too, red flag, is cheating on you. Another one is, number 11, every time he goes out with you now, he's always fussing. You guys always have to fight before he goes out. Because when a man has nothing, he, he, nothing fishy to hide, he's going to take ahead of time and say, baby, I'm going to be going on Saturday and everything and this and this and this and this. No problem. No problem. No question asked, no nothing. But when he doesn't tell you ahead of time, 
You get on another day. I am supposed to be going and everything. Say, ah, this time you have been going out too much. You start getting angry, fussing with you. Eh? Are you the police? Why are you monitoring everything I do? Are you my mother? I'm the one at the house. I'm the this. I'm the that. My dear, that guy is cheating on you. Because when a man is cheating on you, the fussiness becomes it's a normal something. He's going to be fussy all the time with you. All right. Number twelve. Then your husband that has been giving up on himself, you have been complaining how he has not been grooming himself well, he has not been cutting his hair constantly, he has not been smelling good, taking care of his skin, going to the gym. <laughs> this one is funny. When a man starts cheating on you, if he has a big belly, sometimes he starts telling you, baby, I need to go and register to good life in this. I need to go to the YMCA. I need to, I need to start going to the gym. I need to start exercising. You start running and everything. And when you come and be like, baby, how am I looking? Am I losing weight? Am I doing this? And you'll be thinking, say, because he's doing that because he's trying to be healthy for you guys. My dear, it's a lie. He's not trying to be healthy for you. He's trying to maybe eh, that girl, when he's looking at the girl's level, his stomach is too big and everything. He doesn't want to go there and be choking her with his big belly. So he needs to be running to be shrinking that thing. And he needs to be eh, yeah, shrinking to be able to fit in, into some clothes that he couldn't fit into before. Every time I see your husband and cologne, every day different cologne. Your husband never to wear cologne. All of a sudden, like, you tell you, say, maybe let's go to the store. I want to go and you I want to go and have me choose a cologne. Then you, you go there and be like, mm, baby, this is smells so good on you. It makes me it makes you smell it, you smell manly so manly that thing that you're describing there all that description that you're giving there he's going to use it on that girl outside he's not even going to be using it for you it's going to be for that girl outside so my dear that one suspicious right suspicious and another last one that i might add to this is this when he comes back home from an outing or something over the weekend maybe when he comes back home and everything and usually you are used to running to him and kissing him say oh baby i missed you and everything all of a sudden that's an issue he pushes you away. Oh, leave me now. What is it? I just came home. This and this. Most times it's because men. You know, women, we always like to put colognes on us. We have our own specific smell. You know your smell. So when you smell a different smell on him, you know that he has been out there. Somebody has been rubbing herself on him. Somebody has been touching him. And you are going to question that. What smell is that? What is this? That's why when he walks into the house, he doesn't want you to come and jump on him. He doesn't want you to come and tell him how you miss him. It's like you see him on the neck. He doesn't want that. It's because he's cheating on you. All right, so these are all the points. So if after all this, you cannot shine your eye, then you have issues. You have serious issues. You are seeing that you have serious issues. Sometimes, some men you might see five of this, six of this. When you see five or six, definitely he's cheating on you. When you see all of this, he's definitely cheating on you. Some of them you might not even see anything. But some of them you might see just one or two, and you might be like, oh no, maybe no, maybe this, maybe he just was just tired, maybe he was just he just had work at night. He couldn't he couldn't sleep. All that stuff, yeah. And some of them are just very good at hiding it. Some of, some of your husbands are fit to be serial killers. They know how to clean up after themselves. They are fit to be serial killers. They are professionals at whatever they do. Okay? But like I said, if you see any of these signs, 3 to 5, 3 to 10, my dear, that guy is definitely cheating on you. Alright? And I'm giving you all this now so that you should shine your eyes. So that you should awaken. You should wake up. Stop sleeping. Wake up. And catch him when it's early. No can catch him when he's already too deep into it. Because it's not every woman's uh, pussy that he's going to go and enter that he's going to return to you. That's women out there are very dangerous. So sometimes when you see these signs, you can call him out and tell him that you are, you are suspect you are cheating on me right now. If he really loves you, he's going to be like, ah, for my wife to suspect me, it means I need to stop. Okay? And he's going to stop whatever he's doing. For my wife to suspect me, it means I need to stop. And he's going to slow down. Okay? But if you want to, you are, you are, you are seeing or any of these signs and you want to be deceiving yourself, you keep deceiving yourself. That is your own business. That is your own cup of tea. But I'll give you my own to help you. Alright? For me to take my time and write this thing for you. You should know how serious it is. Alright? So, yeah. Uh, this is all I had to say. If you um, yeah, if you like what I'm all about, alright? Subscribe to my channel. Join my family. If you like this content, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. You know, give me that thumbs up, alright? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, alright? So, Alright, bye.